The RDO's aeronautical development establishment has completed feasibility studies of its new high-altitude long-endurance UAV with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and the Indian Air Force, and its design bears resemblance to the American MQ-9B Predator drone. It will be powered by a single 940 horsepower turboprop engine, and will have a range of 1,000 km, a wider and stronger body structure for carrying diverse payloads up to 2,000 kg, an endurance of over 25 hours, and can cruise at an altitude of over 35,000 feet, and will provide intelligence surveillance target acquisition and reconnaissance and strike capabilities. The Indian Army is all set to test a jetpack suit manufactured by Bangalore-based firm Absolute Composite Private Limited in March, as the Army is looking to procure 48 jet suits on trial basis, and if they pass the test, the Army would initiate large-scale procurement. The jetpack suit weighs 3 kilograms, and has 5 engines, that has the capability to fly 10 kilometers in 10 minutes. The jetpack suit has 70% indigenous components, that will be increased to 100%. The Indian Navy chief has said, that the Navy has decided to go ahead with a repeat order of INS Vikrant class aircraft carrier with improved capabilities, and has also started study of a third larger aircraft carrier, that will be commissioned at a time when INS Vikramaditya will be decommissioned. The Navy is also fully backing the procurement of 100 TED BF aircraft, that will be ready for commissioning by 2032. The Rudram-1 anti-radiation missile has successfully completed development trials, and now the Indian Air Force is all set to start final user trials from Su-30 fighter jet in mid-2023, after which the 250 km range Rudram-1 missile will enter serial production. The Indian Air Force has already moved a proposal worth over 1,400 crore rupees to the government for acquiring the Rudram-1 missiles. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and Israel's Elta Systems Limited have signed a memorandum of understanding for cooperation on future business in expand multi-mode airborne maritime patrol radar for Indian platforms, such as fixed-wing rotary wing and manned and unmanned aircraft. It has a long-range maritime surveillance of up to 370 km, and it can even detect small targets in adverse sea conditions, as well as automatic tracking of all detected targets. 21 Philippine Navy personnel have been awarded with interim badges and pins by the Indian Navy chief, in a valedictory ceremony for completing the operator training of the BrahMos anti-ship missile system. The training focused on the operations and maintenance of some of the most important logistics package of the shore-based BrahMos anti-ship missile system, that will be delivered to the Philippines in mid-2023. Hindustan Aeronautics has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with Skygear Aviation Private Limited, for collaboration on design development and manufacture of UAV systems for 10 kg to 200 kg payload using drone copter. Skygear has a lot of expertise in building high endurance and performance drone helicopter with vertical takeoff and landing, that can carry a wide variety of payloads. Rolls-Royce Marine North America has signed an initial pact with Bharat Forge, for the design development licensed manufacturing and installation testing and support of naval marine propulsors, and also create a local supply chain ecosystem for controllable pitch propellers and shafting. India's Rangsons Aerospace has signed a MOU with German firm Henselt, to develop an indigenous data link system which can work across various airborne platforms to enhance network-centric warfare capability of the Indian Armed Forces. The two companies will jointly explore new business opportunities and support new technological advancements.